Hey guys, welcome to Glam Guru Talk with me Abhishek and once again we are back in front of you with another episode of Glam Guru Talk where I will be discussing with all of you and giving my uh, inputs on uh, another topic and something which uh, I have tried to uh, you know get all of your attention in this 2020. Uh, as you know then in the last video I have already discussed about the current pandemic situation of COVID-19 and its effects on pageants how the pageantry is gonna be and very many different aspects we covered in that particular video but today I'm gonna talk about uh, a uh, little more about my forte which is the electronic media production the creative the concepts and about uh, the creatives of uh, the international patents uh, for the 2020 and before uh, I start about today's conversation and today's uh, points which I need to make, I request all of you to join us for this conversation so that we can make it, uh, uh, you know, on another level and we can really, I really appreciate all of you joining us and giving your uh, reviews, your thoughts, your suggestions and what do you think about, uh, you know, uh, the new concept uh, about the 2020, will it be a virtual pageant, how things are going to be that's our uh, you know uh, thing on our priority so now uh, before i talk about the virtuality uh, as the topic suggests that will international beauty pageants be virtual in 2020 i would like to you know talk about something very important which is about what it takes to have a pageant and that will you know internationally because whenever you are there uh, in an international pageant it is very important that Things need to be done on a ground level and that has always been a USP of such events. If you are not able to watch a pageant or a show live with you know our artists and the delegates performing there and uh, you know they really want to see the talent performing there and the feeling all together and the ambience which is of a pageant is certainly exceptionally uh, you know uh, uh, incredible and that has always been a uh, you know an attention point for all the beauty pageants around the world but as you know that today's time is more about the situation of the covid 19 and as i've discussed earlier also that we can we have seen that some of the pageants have already been you know um not happening this year for example miss international 2020 has been postponed to 2021 and as far as uh, one more update is concerned this year you will not be able to see miss asia pacific pageant they have also uh, you know extended their dates and it will be happening next gen 2021 and um, but as far as the virtuality is concerned i would like to talk about it now because i do have seen that most of you who are, have, are already following the pageants internationally and the top leading national pageants uh, recently there was an edition concluded of miss philippines earth 2020 uh, it is the pageant for the philippines uh, representative to the miss earth pageant and it is of course uh, you know organized by the same company the same organizers that are, that are the carousel productions who are also the main people and key people behind the miss earth pageants so as i was telling you that you know for the first time we have seen that philippines has experimented with having a virtual pageant with all the contestants and uh, the judges the audiences and, and use of technology social media in such a way that it is very uh, you know uh, to make it more exciting and worth watching for everyone but now let's talk about the international pageant context what can we expect in the 2020 first it's gonna be a big challenge for all of them the big uh, you know pageants like miss universe miss world miss earth and grand supranational to actually have a pageant and if they're able to have a pageant then the next uh, you know challenge is going to be that how they are going to make sure that the event happens on ground and it is as uh, you know uh, as exciting as it used to be so in talking about the possibility of virtual pageants i can say for now that if i talk about first about the miss earth pageant certainly since miss philippines earth has happened uh, in a virtual concept so we can also certainly expect uh, miss earth pageant to also be a virtual pageant now since the delegates are international delegates and they will coming to uh, the pageant with their whole preparation so it is also looks little unfeasible at the same time because if you are in the philippines or in a particular country there you can make a call that you want to have 
have a pageant like digitally so you can make arrangements as per the productions is concerned you need to send the unit at the respective places to make sure that the digital production is done in a better way but internationally is going to be a challenging for all of them so that's what we really wanted to work upon and i would also like to tell you one thing that uh, you know uh, we really need to understand what it takes to have an international pageant and that is very more in very much important in order to make sure that you know uh, the contestants and the delegates are getting equal amount of uh, uh, you know exposure at the same time and uh, uh, you know and also uh, that these pageants uh, 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 you know also should give uh, a equal amount of coverage to everyone so this technology could be a problem for the girls uh, you know where they can say if they are not adverse with the technology or their you know uh, their uh, respective organization is not able to uh, you know provide them uh, to provide them with uh, their uh, you know respective setup so that needs to be make sure and we need to understand that you know it is also very much important to uh, make sure that you know um, there are there is a possibility that you know there could be a chance when the contestants are not able to access uh, the particular you know uh, sort of technology so that needs to be uh, done in such a way that we need to uh, make sure that all these delegates are there and uh, they have to you know participate at the same time and that's what is very much important which could not be a possibility if the pageant is happening online now if i talk about the second aspect of it and that is also very important that is about uh, you know the participation see we have exp- we have always seen uh, you know big pageant countries coming up and you know being very aggressive Save about their pageants, but what about the smaller countries? Will they be able to participate in e- equal amount as they used to, and will they be able to, you know, get as uh, uh, equal, uh, you know, uh, exposure on their platform? That remains to be seen. Also, if I talk about the concept and the format, see, you have always seen Miss Universe and Miss World pageant happens for about twenty to forty days. Miss World lasts for forty days, and Universe is. now these days 15 days or maybe 20 day depends on the host so they have certain activities happening miss earth has a lot of environmental uh, you know uh, advocacies and lot of school tours lot of plantation lot of uh, you know um, charitable uh, purpose uh, believe the purpose for miss world and also you know as you know uh, miss universe work with smile train they work for the awareness of hiv and aids so all these need things needs to have interaction you know with the uh, different ngos and with uh, the uh, you know case studies and so much of thing so that could be done uh, digitally because you can you know produce a number of documentaries or capsules or you can come up with some great content as far as making your a uh, purpose and advocacy uh, you know are uh, relevant but once again the question is if you are not able to do it on ground how are you going to make sure that you know the purpose which you are suffering is uh, you know giving a uh, light to these people and it is as uh, you know impactful as it used to be so that is also going to be a big uh, challenge for them now talking about other pageants like grand international and supra national as you know that these both these pageants are very high at their production level and they really make sure that the contestants get great exposure on stage they have great runways uh you, you know different types of rounds and that all needs to be done in such a way so that it is very exciting for uh, the viewers to watch we have seen at the miss earth philippines pageant that uh they were doing it uh from their respective places they were you know doing it uh through virtually but that impact was missing and that is going to be a big challenge for the international uh, contenders to make sure that this pageant is as equal and as uh, you know uh, impactful as it used to be earlier so that also remains to be seen and um, as i can predict that you know as we know that you know miss universe will fall in january and miss world is also so likely to delay but if the pageants like grand international which they have made it clear that they will be done uh, on in october 25th in venezuela only recently only they have uh, you know made a uh, made up announcement about it not a f- official one but a, but uh, an official uh, you know confirmation and also at the same time surprise also expected to be held in december so in that context they will definitely be working on making a pageant within a studio or within a uh, within a setup where there are not much access to the audiences and i as i also talked about the kind of participation from the audience side that could be done digitally by connecting the viewers and the fans online 
time making them display on the live telecast or the webcast and making sure that you know people are connected and i also recommend and i also think that it is a very good time in order to utilize the power of internet and digital in such a incredible way that which can transform the pageants in the next decade or maybe in the current 2020 decade so that is going to be a very important you know uh, aspect of uh, this digital or virtual pageant you can say now we'll talk talk about some more aspect of it let's quickly take some of the comments which we are getting we are getting comment from sunita misha she's saying our uh, nice information and uh, uh, she's also asking what information about 2020 when will it take place well uh, ma'am as they have already told that you know miss universe is happening late and miss world is also expected to might you know slightly uh, be delayed this year but uh, as far as the grand and supras are concerned they are going to be in october and december as of now and earth is also going to be probably in the month of december so these are the three pageants and we remains to see how they are going to do it we also have one more comment from uh, aparnika i believe yes she's there she's asking that how can girls participate virtually well of course aparnika that's a big question and that's what we are discussing and i'm saying that you know they can uh, participate from their own setup but for an international pageant it needs a lot of effort to make sure that every delegate has a you know perfect and proper arrangement be at the crew the lights and the setup the backgrounds so many things needs to be done in order to make anything you know online or anything worth watching so that remains to be seen and we can also you know predict that uh, there could be a uh, situation where this pageant could be a very short pageant this time we can certainly see pageant happening for hardly 7 days or 8 days for a week or so and you know the girls are coming in and just giving their preliminaries and then they are just preparing two or three days for the rehearsals followed by a seventh day of the final event and that to in a you know as i am telling you a a a, a packed such a place where there is there are lights and there is proper arrangement with a very low crew and uh, you know crew so that uh, you know uh, these are uh, girls security and their you know the chances of uh, you know getting infection could also be uh, reduced and they also need to make sure about everyone's health since you, as you know that the current time is not good in terms of having any event be it pageants or any other we already know that you know this year's olympics is not happening um, it has been postponed for 2021 and many big events be it sports or entertainment and so that has really affected the situation as well as entertainment and event industry is concerned now i would like to talk about the another aspect of which is about the advertising part which we have already discussed and insight with glam guru that it is the lifeline of a event like pageants or any other you know uh, fashion event if they do not have a sponsor they do not they do not have big uh, you know advertiser promoting their pageants how they are going to make sure that it is you know as a uh, growing and it's giving them the revenues well it's going to be very tough here i am to be very frank because all the organization needs to make a very very uh, you know different uh, very tough call in order to make sure that the pageant is happening with full pace and for that they really need to work upon on making the pageant more relevant now if i talk about the relevancy of it virtually there are so many options but at the same time they will have to hunt and they will have to collaborate with such players who are very aggressive as far as digital technology is concerned for example i can not i will not name anyone but i can certainly say in india there are one or two or three digitally empowered players who are working from you know past couple of years and just transform the internet technology in india so if they are getting collaborations with such brands and such players then it's going to give them a huge mileage as far as the patents are concerned and also at the same time if they are able to make the show i uh, you know are uh, popular in terms of their production value so they really need to tie up with some people uh, advertisers and some uh, you know some big players who are the master of it and that's way they going to make it you know this pageant and this uh, international pageant worth uh, watching and very exciting at the same time let's take quickly one more question we have uh, kritika and she's saying do you think advertiser will sponsor virtual pageants well kritika that's exactly we're discussing right now that uh, you know it's going to be a tough time it's going to be uh, you know not easy for the uh, organizations to make sure that they get advertisers and sponsorships but it's not impossible also they are saying the experiment happening in the philippines South Africa should be mentioned here they have already started their pageant top 15 has already been announced and soon there will be narrowed down uh, sorry 
top 30 i think or 40 have already been announced and soon they will be narrowing down to uh, 15 or 12 a very final uh, number so and they're doing the things online they're interacting they're having the activities promotions everything and since zozi binitonzi is a current title holder it's a very important year for the south africa to have the successor of zozi bini selected and chosen in a you know in a very uh, profound way and that's what we need to also work on and uh, international balance as i'm talking about will also be making sure that you know equal amount of coverage and equal amount of uh, depth is given to everyone and uh, it's not going to be a disappointing year for anyone because everybody watched pageant for two to three hours with a lot of excitement and they really, really want to show see a high fashion event with a lot of excitement in the participation of these delegates and the stories they need to uh, share so that's what i can say that you know it's time to collaborate and to bring on uh, this big players as far as technological and you know uh, these virtual uh, you know masters are concerned who can help put up the show in such a way so that it's it's more uh, you know desirable more uh, interesting and at the same time uh, more uh, uh, you know worth watching uh, uh, the show and that's what we can really recommend for the organizers to play upon so that's all for today friends uh, uh, we really wanted to give you an insight on about the virtual pageants will there be a how the virtual pageant can be concluded and what going to be a layout i've given i try to give you a perspective about it and what can we expect but things remains to be seen in the future because we are really awaiting the official announcement from miss universe and miss world respectively about their stand on the 2020 edition till then uh stay home stay safe keep watching our space glam crew on facebook they're also there on youtube now subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like subscribe and share to our channel we'll keep coming back to you and of course so please do uh, join us for Insight with Black Guru once again this Saturday with someone really special about a very important topic and interesting uh, you know, aspect about the pageant for all of you. Till then, stay home, stay safe and have a great time. Thank you very much.